<laughs> Whoa. He, like, he coughed so hard that <coughs> everything changed. It Here. went in. <laughs> it went the wrong way. <laughs> Rocketed my throat. Wrong holes. It went in. Uh, we have something very important to get to. How could it look the same? There's mustard butts and voids. The, the studio's all just... I just a metaphysical look at what's funny and what's a character. Warning. The following program is filled with the most hellish excellence to ever grace the podcast world. The individuals involved are the most logical and probably the most mad men you will ever hear put voice to mic. You have been warned. Do not think this is all a bit. I repeat, it is not a bit at all. Never, ever, forever. Ah, when? Okay. He made a yummy noise. <laughs> Was that? What is he supposed to be doing? Laughing? It sounds going yummy. Mm. He's gonna eat us, but we're gonna eat him. That's what we do with. No, I think monsters. that's our contentment. You know, uh, today <laughs> that that lanky lurch looking—he's such a nice boy. Why does he have to involve himself with the ski masks? You almost don't want to attack him. Why does he want to go after those he chooses to go after? Because like he's like a sweet. He really is. He's like a simple Jack. He's a retard. <laughs> he's like, she's like a sweet. I mean, don't leave him alone with the puppies or but... the children. Because he'll drop them. Not, not. not we ain't, he's no. so tall. If they might, if they fell from that he'll, height, he'll, it would be... be like, I like you, kid. You're a nice one. And then he's just walking. He's not doing anything inappropriate. And then he fucking bangs its head or he. Yeah, it falls like yeah. Yeah. Or like he does like a Kramer move into a doorway somewhere. Whoa! No, I don't think he's got that kind of pizzazz. That's the thing. Well, that's why he would fall over and the baby would also tumble. Have we made it clear who we're talking about? I think you said a name, but I don't remember. Who? Stevie? Lou? Who? Who? Stevie Lou, who? Um, Lou, 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 Lou. I just realized, ooh, 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 maybe it's the picture settings also that are made. No, I'm on dark mode. Wow. This oh, television. Wait. You knows know what? Mm -hmm. We forgot the other part, didn't we? Well, we were going to, we were going to, going to, going to, going to go. We had to, uh, it just, the moment must have been. It, is your finger on the button or no? Not, I mean, no, it's not. I mean, it's it not, could be. Not. Should it be? Who's well, a it's jerk? Good. The guy. And I said this a while back. I mean, I, I want to like him. Lou Rodriguez? You don't like Lou? That's rude. I love the god. Teehee, we're just JK. You're obviously talking about Stevie Lou. Who? Lou, Lou, Stevie. Lou, who? Why does there got to be so many people with the similar names? I mean, there's like Lou and Luke. That just right here, we've got the two very similar sounding. We got two Rodriguez. It's true. Oh my God! Do you see that web? This like is this, this camera. This camera is making me look like a fucking spider creature. It's like, but it's cool because I don't have to take two psychedelics to <laughs> kind of feel tripping. Well, after all of the big announcements, everybody and the big uh, hoobala who to do and such over the new studio, here we are. There it is. They're in the brand new studio. Where everything will happen. This is it. This is what you're going to look at all the time from now on. No, no, this way. He spent uh, two days doing that. Seriously? Is that you're, you're, you're serious? I mean, yeah. it's kind of, I thought you were saying that it was going to be um, much this grander <laughs> or, or, this is a studio. This is the music studio. Uh, 
this is the last room to do. Obviously, everything else will be did first. All I have left are the two studios. Uh, the mm -hmm. studio and the studio. So, stu, stu, studio. Stu, stu, studio. Whoa! Lou, Lou, Ludio. Uh -huh. Why is Lou so lewd to the girls, dude? Lou Rodriguez or the Dirty Boy Stevie Lou? The Lou. Yeah, the, the last Lou, not the first name Lou, last Lou. Spelled kind of odd, too. Is it supposed... Oh, it's Lewis? I don't know. I don't know, but it's hard because it, it, it's, it's, it's punching down with him. And is that... But the question is, is that a part of his game? I don't know. He's very... It's, it's high. He's... he's I thought he was very he's enough tall. with the tall jokes. Okay. Is, is is he fucking a legitimate uh soft boy, a simple jack? Or is that part of his game, like a shield he puts up so that people don't want to attack? I don't want to attack him. Yeah, I, I think he he's is. trying I to know be. what his involvement is. Obviously, you saw what I did when he was on the show, trying to get his words. Uh, he couldn't even fucking say a straight answer, the cocksucker. Um, yeah, <clears throat> he wants to be Switzerland, but he, he's not. He's more like, uh, I don't know, Ukraine? Here is Switzerland. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't even know enough about all that to know. Mm -hmm. I just yeah. hope that they're not. They're not. It, if we're going to talk about it real quick, Ukraine. I hope they're not just baiting us. Like we send them all their all our shit and all this old shit, and then they're like, "Oh yeah, we're cool with Russia now, and now we're all going after you so with China." BYB, you're saying is uh, the aid we have sent them, and then they're going to use that to go against us. So who's China? Is that Gino Biscanti? Yeah, that's the compound cretins, yes. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, obviously it's written. It's, it's it's clear. Derek! This is my Gino voice. Can't wait to see you on the B. I'm doing BYP soon, right? That's Gino Biscante. How pathetic can you be? I mean, it was bad enough when he did our show. Uh, but now you're going to do BYB to spite us. To spite Luke and Jim. Well, I think it's just to help them out. To no, it is not. You stop making jokes. I'm, I'm, I've had enough of your jokes today. I really have. <laughs> I've just, I'm, I'm, I've had enough. I'm sitting on three paint cans with a cushion on top, okay? In the corner. <laughs> <laughs> well, room here. I usually sit on the wooden stool, so you now you know my pain, see? A fucking wooden stool? What are you, are you sitting on the ground? Where are you? I am on the ground. No, I'm in the back room, but the, the counters are kind of high, and it's just not... I, I don't know. I like a wooden stool. It keeps me alert. I have to sit straight. I can't, like, slouch in it because I'll fall off. So. I, 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 well, I like a nice... I'm a military room. kid. I have to be. I like ready. a nice, firm stool in the morning. Yeah. Well, <laughs> they're not always that firm. Speaking of that, oh, my goodness. If you Speaking wanna of go firm stools, what? Are you talking about Tubby's Comet? <laughs> Usually they're um, they're a hot shit. What are his, his comments? comments? What is he talking about? I don't know. I don't uh, know. I don't know. Were you going somewhere else? <clears throat> oh uh, shit! I I was sick for a few days, and I thought I knew what diarrhea was until recently. Wow! Just That's all I gotta say. Not to get too like gross. <sighs> <sighs> <laughs> Ha! Ooh! Ooh! Huh? Uh, uh, Steve yeah. Cutler, live in the chat. Hello! But we Hi. can't talk to you, Steve. Clearly, we're reading Tubby's comment right now, oh, so why don't you nice. step back, pal? <laughs> People these days. Uh, let's see, Tubby, speaking of which, the Superman guy. Uh, was one of yours. That's right. We owned him before BYB. Well, no, during BYB because we own BYB as well. Obviously, duh. Um, someone <laughs> should tell him that Ray DeVito was forcing laughs to be a good sport. They're not on the level of real comedians. Obviously, what? So this Ray DeVito character was on their show. 
Well, he's going everywhere. He he does. He did just come out with a new album on Barstools. No, wait, no, wait, no. What was his on? I can't remember. I have no idea. I don't even know who Ray DeVito is. Is, is he related to Danny? I tune out plugs. I, if he is, then Danny is not helping him at all. That has uh, done nothing for his career. <laughs> Well, yeah. Well, so don't light you, yourself on fire. I mean, I know you're excited to be in a new studio and all. I'm not. I got a oh, coffee. Okay. Oh, jeez. Okay. So, uh, they he was on the BYB. Can I get an answer to that yet or not? I don't know. I guess. No. All right. I haven't been paying attention. I've been, I've been falling out of these shows, man. I don't. A lot of them are just circling their own drains. It's just what it seems like to me. I'm like, eh. Again. Okay. Same shit. Woo. Coffee magical. It is misty and mystical. <laughs> I feel yeah, like I have a brain cloud now. Oh, Uncancelable Records is where Ray DeVito's album is going to be released, apparently. And something about Dry Bar. Is or Becky tools. a Ray Ray bar, that was it. fan? Yeah, she is. I was uh, I was in his chat earlier, and so was the Lou. All right, you know I've had enough is? of this guy, <sighs> Mister Tickle. Mr. Fucking Tickle. So you were saying, what is Let's Mister? Wait, no, Mister Tickle. No, we can't go there. No, and I can't believe he did. You know, he and Lucky Burrito got. Us in some trouble, oh, um, no, them, they, oh, they, they them. yeah. Oh, I, wait. I heard something about that. I think it wait, was so. He, does Steve Cutler and Lucky Burrito do sex together? Are they a couple? And if so, wouldn't she be like the taco and he'd be the Lucky Burrito because he's do he's like, a... <laughs> I guess, unless there's some pegging going on, and I'm not saying there is, but uh. You never know. Oh, I know they're in the too. same location. I, I know that they're in the same place most of the time. Steve Cutler should come on the show right now and just uh, with no camera and just play guitar for us uh, and soundtrack the rest of this episode. That would be amazing. Uh, yeah, we'll just be waiting for you, Mr. Cutler. So for if you're they, live. There's a lot of people who've been talking about this blue haired lady. They and do I'm have not sex. They say do have sex. They do have sex. He says they have sex. Oh my they god. Sex. They do sex. They do sex. He does sex. Exclusive, with her. exclusive. Does she go, uh uh-huh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh-huh, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. Is it What's in here? Going on? No. <laughs> Because she has dreadlocks and she looks a little bit like uh, old, old school agree. Linda Perry. Yeah. Every single day. Institution. Don't know more of that. I can't okay, so I, <laughs> why not? I know At the moment, uh, that's what he said. Wait, is that at? He sh- I, I, we don't need to know about the specifics. It, at oh, I, never mind. Ass to mouth. They do yeah. I, mouth. I didn't want to yeah. say it, but you strap just... on ass to mouth. <laughs> mm-hmm. So if we're gonna mention this, the algorithms might actually be finding people who just mention her name. So Mark Simpson. Could, could we? Mark we're gonna call Simpson. her Marge. Mm-hmm. Okay. So uh, yeah, they had. Large Marge. Well, you said blue-haired lady, so... Yeah, you're right. So this blue-haired lady Marge, they were talking about her. And uh, I guess the section, maybe they... I don't know if they played a video or just the act of talking about her causes some sort of algorithm to fire and then she can find the portion of your YouTube show that talks about her and then she can put a privacy complaint in and get your stuff taken down. So she does know some powerful people, so I'm sure... Mr. She exploiting a intentionally corrupt system. Possibly. Uh, Just knows the right people to pull the right strings to get the thing to happen, to find the right things easily. Or she knows the right things to say, although 
what are the right things to That's say? That's true. Like, oh, look, we Lucky about- Doritos in the audience. What's Hi. going on? Hey, 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 hey. I said, hey, what's going on? <laughs> Get it. <laughs> 24 episodes Sitting on that swing. We are, are not free. creeping in the night. And that's the thing about the night creeps. Oh, that's not the... how it goes. What? It's not how it goes. Oh, but that's how the thing I wrote goes. No, but that's Never not mind. even the right part of the song, though. Oh, sorry. You can't do that. So it just seems like uh, anyone that's talking about Marge, anyone that's digging on Marge is Tell getting. Marge, Marge sent you. <laughs> Getting she looks um, like this. Ooh. Very <laughs> But, so, I told you I had a theory. I didn't tell you what it was, and it has something to do with this. Your old uh, acquaintance, nemesis, I'm not sure how to... Merlin DeFango. Steve Cutler set a straight uh, lucky burrito. He says you did not peg him. Merlin DeFango. Yeah, that yeah. guy. It is very I'm... funny how he's in the mix on all of this now. And it was so strange because you were just you just talked about him weeks before. Well, you showed that video well, about I showed it before that too, I'm saying. But yes, just weeks yes. before because I know what leg we're entering. Cause I fucking cause I wrote this goddamn story. Let me ask you this. Is it possible? That's that right, Merlin. That's right, Merlin. Merlin. You are once again walking through another of Todd Grundle, Jim Grundle, the pensman, the booksman, Giovanni Rossano's stories. Just another one of his stories. Is it possible that Merlin could be a little more connected to Marge than we all realize? No. no. And that him going on deep dives of her and getting everyone else to go in on the deep dives in her could have been some sort of like, dick. like a grifter net. Like a baiting for the grifters that were drifting in on his Luke, grips. I'm gonna do magic. I'm gonna find a video without a keyboard. Go ahead. Interesting. Yeah, he doesn't have a keyboard. He said he was gonna explain that at some because point. I, but... I, I I only have two USB. Well, first off, somebody stole my dongle. Somebody stole my fucking dongle. Don't be touching a man's dongle without mm-hmm. his permissions. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. So uh, uh, El Barito says Defango says he met and knew her. Now, I've heard the claims that, oh, we used to hang out in the same crew. Defango was a My Chemical Romance queefer. Uh, again, I, I could say I met and know her, too, as much as Defango does, okay? Because at the same years she was hanging out with the M- MCR douchebags, they were hanging out in the warehouse that I was fucking practically living in. So kiss penises. I had like three bands in that warehouse at that time. Um, and we were the big boys there. We were the cuckoo crazy guys. We were the ones running around, jumping the hallways and being cuckoo bearers like jackasses and owning the joint. And they were just the nerds going, Ew, look at these guys yeah. making all that money and stuff. They were working hard and fucking getting careers and stuff. We were the real ones. Real we were the punk rocks, yo. We had the heroin addicts in our spot nodding out and yeah we were Ow. real rock stars what a what a passive aggressive request for an invite denied denied maybe later we gotta get our group back. it's only two i mean it's how do you know i could be post pre-op post i don't know i don't pre-op, have stop. i have a detachable one so Defango is not her little 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 friend. Um, or maybe he knew how sticky that web could be mm-mm. and decided no. to let everyone in on it. No. No. Are you stupid? <laughs> Just you throw know, it out at a Even Jack Basobi. You know what? It would help to find a video without a keyboard if I at least used the mouse. I'm not going to do it with my brain. No. <laughs> Why do you th- think Jack Posobiec has to take to the stage to tell you he is fake as fuck? There is none faker than Defango. He is brilliant in his manipul- manipulative, conniving, snake oil salesman ways. <coughs> um, <coughs> well, there's a reason 
your buddy Jim Grindle and and old Merlin DeFango are our genesis. There's a reason. And we're like, uh, it, it, but except he sucks. He's not he's not like he's not like a cool boy like me. He's just a dork. Uh, I mean, he's all right. He smokes DMT and he like, you know, he parties, you know, he's like, he's kind of cool. He's into all mysticism, like behind the camera. He's an all right dude. But, you um, know, but not well, a, yeah, but well, you mean, oh, behind. The, but when he's on the camera, mm -hmm. yeah, it's, it's kind of flat, right? Yeah. Off camera. <laughs> but his flatness is part of it. Um, he's just OK doing that. I'm not. Yeah. He's a very technical approach to it. Uh, okay. Like, you know, Dat Fan, the comedian, do you know him, Asian? Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. The one he, was, he wrote down all the. Right. Yeah. He, and the he mathematics. Of calculated. It. Oh, this yep. one got this many laughs. This mm -hmm. one. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I could put this here and then that there. And then I would have this many laughs for this second. And yeah. You see why you see why I want other people on night creeps? I keep telling these jerks because because you, you, you seem to always know what I'm talking about. And if there's like five people, you get the other four of them going, "Dur what?" And then you know, but then they're like, "Oh, you guys are fags, dur." Echo, echo. What are you, some kind of dolphin, Becky? Where I don't hear no echo. Where's an echo? I, I didn't mean to steal him. I didn't mean to take him, everybody. It just, I, I just, I. Yeah. I, don't, I like doing this. I'm good at this. What am I going to hey, say? They can keep going ahead and, 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 and kick me out of Boyd and Friends by tricking me into thinking that yesterday, <laughs> yesterday it's was the wrong Friday. Day. They no. tricked me. They pulled a Dwight Schrute on me. They tricked me. <laughs> what happened? I think what really happened was you canceled your, uh, your compound subscription, so you didn't mm -hmm. go through that Friday with no shows, so you didn't know what day of the week I it was yet. I don't anymore. Yeah, dude. <laughs> Fridays don't feel the same. Cancel because compound, cancel you compound. used to have Gino in your ear going, Whiskey Wednesday, Whiskey Wednesday, yeah. Whiskey Thursday. It's like a calendar. Whiskey it's like an animated calendar, is all that Gino was. But I don't need to spend fucking it's to keep nine you on track. On, uh, oh, and hello to old uh, Mr. Giraffe in the chat. <laughs> Bing bong. Hello. Jeff? Yeah, that's all. He's murdered like 16 women. Oh, nice. I guess. I mean, if they were, uh, you know, some murders yeah, yeah, don't talk about justified. It. Don't, talk uh, about it. don't talk about okay. it. Don't talk about it. Don't talk I mean, not. Don't mean. talk about it at all. Oh, what? Hmm. So Becky oh, is a liar. She's a dirty bitch and a liar, as Stevie Lou told us. But, but, but we'll get back to that. You were saying... So Defango, um, yeah, that was that was just so weird to My watch. Tanglo, to 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 watch transpire. Uh, Transformers. So strange. But again, that kind of did that bring us um, Jason in in burrito and cut. I mean, was that I kind of part of it? I have heard burrito. Hey, girl, I know I've heard your name through his. <laughs> Flemmy delivery. I know I have. I know it. Someone else could have been named some sort of burrito. Ducky burrito. Or... I know I heard Jason Rodriguez's name too. I think they're both evil trolls. But aren't we all? Before. Yes. Yes. And sort of, it's before. a troll kingdom nowadays. Jason, let's say Jason is a troll. Mango. Oh, I hear the echo now. Just like fine, um, yeah, I don't know. I think it's you. Just like um, now, she says she knows Defango. See, you said to me on Jason's thing, young lady, that you did not know him when I first asked you. You were like, "Who, Defango? Hmm, I've never heard of Defango." <laughs> hey, was, yeah, you bean, your bean that fell out of your burrito. You're over there. I get it. There's a brain in the burrito. Clitoris. Does that mean there's a lot of lips so it folds around anyway? Clitoris. I'm sure Jason's not a troll. He's a lovely boy, but would you listen to me, burrito? Uh, the, the thing about these people with the fango, he had the orange wizard come along and try to invade the land of nothing and try to infiltrate Illuminati Mountain a few years back, five years ago, I think, four years ago. And just like with Jason, even if someone's a troll, 
we every, everybody's a troll like you said so everybody is treated like they're a troll and all trolls are treated like they're people and like with the orange wizard he became our wonderful friend because we just kept being creative and collaborative and having fun and then he doesn't like to fight anymore so yes there is an echo that's what uh, we why well, I, I was just muted interesting very interesting I just I just unmuted, but mm -hmm. even if Jason is a troll, he's kind mm -hmm. of uh, he's fun and he's yeah. creative. So yeah. Yeah. if he wants to stick around and not in 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 turn to our sort of troll, then that's fine. We we're, we're little he seems like 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 Orange Wizard. Jason seems like a good person, so that's what happens. The good people always end up with the good people, and the trash end up with the trash. So. Na you know, uh, nature will sort itself out. Well, like I was That's saying, I, was, I almost felt like... Hypothetical, so obviously, like, nobody out there, nobody think Jason's a troll. We're speaking hypothetically. I'm sorry, Lucas, you were speaking. When I was into Opie and Ed, <clears throat> I wanted to, like, enter that world and actually work for them and be doing that myself. And then, you know, listening to Compound, it's like I wanted to get into podcasting. So, so I felt like I was looking for a place to land. And that's where a lot of people, I think, are, where they're associating with certain people just because of perhaps a status thing or they feel like these are fun people to work with. They may lead me somewhere. But really, we're all just looking for a place to land. God damn it. Thank, Thank you, Jeffrey. Jeffrey. We've been trying to find. We've been trying to come up with this phrase forever. From We've been trying yeah. to say the land. Nope. This is two things. He's completing a thought we've been trying to get out of our heads for like weeks now. Both of us. We yes. couldn't find this. Metaphor. Yes, because we've been talking about this behind the scenes. Yeah. yeah. And uh, you right now, uh, you've been trying to get out this place to land also for weeks, and I just had to conclude that. So go ahead, continue. Yeah, uh, and that's like you said. Red Wizard was doing that, Orange. and then found this, or Orange Wizard found this, and was like, "This is actually." Even though I was coming after this, this is actually something cool that I like. So whatever, I'm just gonna default to doing this now. <laughs> oh, that's it. And that's what I feel like. I mean, whatever. I'm excited for the future for all the fun studio stuff and things that are going to happen that we can't really talk about. But uh, yeah, only thing we can talk about is the only the only new show we can talk about is uh, yeah. all the people. Oh, it's not new. It's already out there. We've already done it years ago. It's a reboot of an old show uh, that Charles it's a Charles Wayne show. Okay. He was a guest on the show. That's where Fappy oh. the Clown came from. And um oh, okay. I heard that. Yep. He did like two episodes with us, and it was a lovely time. And it turned out to be his favorite thing he had done. And again, I keep saying it's basically FGTZ format. But um mm -hmm. it all is, and that's the that's the thing. They can they can keep trying to steal the format, but they can't steal the ingredients. You know what I mean? Like you could put two pieces of meat between three buns with lettuce and cheese. And, and, and if you don't have the Mac sauce, you don't have the Mac sauce. It ain't a big Mac. It's just a fucking sandwich with a piece of bread in the middle. I have the perfect anecdote for that. So I told you that I wrote a script for something and I still got to find that and send it to you. But <clears throat> an idea for a show well i told i mean i had had this idea for years and i told a bunch of people about it so eventually it got from what someone i told to someone else hey he had talked about doing this and those people went oh my god that's a great idea we're gonna turn it into a sitcom and we're gonna but and I mean, nothing ever came of it. I was a little mad at the time, like, oh, what the fuck? Why, you know, why would you tell them that I was thinking about doing a show about that? But you're right. They don't have all the forethought that came into creating a show and, and seeing what it could be. They just heard a little piece of an idea and went, hmm, we're going to run with that. But just a little piece of an idea doesn't mean that you're going to be able to build something good with it. In the, in, in the instance of... BYB, is that the right way to say it? With BYB, take a look at them. They thought they could uh, emulate Friday Night FGTZ. And they just said Friday Night BYB. 
And they're like, all right, we'll, we'll, we'll start with the opening joke slash monologue again. It's a standard format. It's not something I invented. Yeah. I'm copying. You can't do that on television. I'm copying fucking uh, 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 fuck National Lampoon Radio Hour. That's my secret sauce. Really. So now you know. Because again, it doesn't matter. Why do you think there's not been another National Lampoon Radio Hour? Since the 70s, the current National Lampoon Radio Hour, it still exists and it's never been what it was. Why do you think Saturday Night Live was never the same after season one? Yeah, it hit a different groove with those 90s characters, and different iterations up until it died, but it was never the same. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. They were distinctly like the that uh, not ready for primetime players. That was one thing. That was one vibe. That was National Lampoon Radio Hour essentially. Then you've got the '90s people, totally different show, totally different vibe, just as classic, to, but but totally different. The point is, you have all these different things within the same format because it's not the format. That it's about Frazier, uh, Kelsey Grammer. Interesting story. Uh, the reboot, you know, there's a Frazier reboot coming. No, yeah, yeah. Uh, listen, he's um, the old uh, guy now. No, listen, this is gonna get excited. Maybe because the pilot is called The Good Father, where the pilot of the last Frazier was called The Good Son about him going to move to his father, however. This one, my speculation is he's going to go move with his son who's off to college. But I'll tell you more about in a second. What he said, though, when they were trying to write the thing, originally it was supposed to be John Mahoney. But um, the other guy is Luke, and I'm not sure what he's drinking. And this, this can you like slap your mic maybe? Oh, it mic. is doing it again? It is. It's, I'm getting feedback in my ears. Um, Max kicking brand new flavor in my ears. Uh, so they were trying to reboot with John Mahoney, but then he died, so they couldn't. And then as they were going through different versions of it, I, I agree with you now, Becky. I hear it super bad now. It's not me, man. What? It's not me. I don't have this problem when I'm with Lucas, so it's clearly not me. Jesus. Uh, hold on a second. Let's see this. Watch. You, you hear the fucking thing, and now watch as I mute Lucas Hi, hi, my name's Jim, and I no longer hear a fucking echo because my penis uh, does not live in a cave in Yodel. Therefore, no echo. See, I can't unmute you, though, Lucas. You have to unmute yourself. But, um, oh, yeah, his name's Lucas. See, is it because I'm hitting I, this? I don't know. I don't know what it is. Ooga booga. Ooga booga. It's really bad. I think you need a new mic. Are you connected to... Are you sure you're not connected to, like, your earphones or something? Uh, are you using your monitor from your mic? Because didn't we discover that was the problem? Lower your monitor on your mic? Does your mic have a monitor? Yes, Tubby. Luke is deliberately sabotaging the show. Uh, what's his, What's their boys? It's written right there, and I don't know their names. The Backyard Boys, they have paid him five hundred dollars to do this so hello 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 yeah. yo yo hey yo yeah it's still there so frazier oh cock and balls penis and dick frazier i was looking for a video do you does any do you does, do you even know what video i was looking for Remember, I was gonna find him, oh i know um so he said after Mahoney died, they tried different versions. Oh, I think it's gone. They tried different versions of a script, and they couldn't come up with the right formula. And then he realized the formulas, the, the key is Frasier. It's the fucking show is called Frasier. The key is Frasier. It's this character. So, and that is who he is. You get what I'm saying? Like, it's not the format. It's not that. It, sometimes there's just a certain character that has a certain something that works within that format. 
So he didn't hear me because he wasn't here. I mean, I didn't hear the echo because he wasn't here. Um, oh, I was going to find a video about the Fango. So you're back now, right, Luke? The echo's gone. And I definitely heard you. So, yeah. Hi. Can you hear me? Yeah, maybe I'm an, I'm an agent now. I'm an agent for BYB. So that Fall thing Yang gone. boys. So you were really upset about not doing Boy and Franz, Fran? I was very upset. I practiced things and that Jason uh, practiced things and well, he got to do it. But I even messed. I fucking was talking to Damien Thursday morning at like 6 a.m. I just was waking up and I was talking to Lou in the fucking chat. And um, both of them, I'm like, no Boyd today. And Damien didn't answer at first. Then, then what's his name? Lou said, no, no links, headache. And then Damien's like, oh, I see Lou answered already. So whatever. Nobody says to me, this is not the day we do Boyd. We do Boyd tomorrow. So I get it. I'm an idiot. I'm a dummy. <laughs> but three people, three people failed to correct me. The two of them didn't bother to tell me, what are you, retarded? It's Thursday. And then Friday morning, the woman wakes up to a ding on her phone with a notification. She's like, uh, it's a Crab Nation show. Uh, you need to, are you supposed to be waking up? And I was like, it's fucking Saturday. I don't do any shows on Saturdays. Leave me. Why? I literally said, why are you bothering me? And I went back to sleep. She doesn't at any point say it's not Saturday, Dwight. It's fucking Friday, you moron. No. No. Oh, V, did you hear about the Doc's attack on us? I don't know if he's been around. What are you doing? He left. Oh, my God. I was large by myself before when I was talking about Frazier, too. So, guys, uh, Dr. Frazier Crane, are you ready? Are you ready? Does anyone have a drum roll? Drum roll your own house, okay? Do it in your house. I'm not going to do it because that takes away from it. Are you ready? Drum roll. Go. Keep doing it. Keep drum Before Luke gets here, he's here. He's going to ruin it. Keep drum rolling. And Frazier is going to Boston. The new series is set in Boston. Dude, I, I was going to say that. They probably were going to just, yeah, now he goes over to Boston because there's a lot of schools in Boston. So, yeah, like you said, maybe his kid's going to. Cheers. Or maybe, yeah, they're going to go back to Cheers. I got, no, here's my theory. And it's a sad one. And it's gonna. I don't want the show to happen because of this. I know okay. they're going to do it. I'm positive they're going to do it. It's the most, it's going to blow everyone's mind. It's going to be considered one of the hugest TV moments in the world when they simply say, when, when Frazier runs into Cliff or Norm. And yeah, yeah, yeah. They go, man, it's, a, it's been a fucking rough 10 years since Cheers was closed down. Like in our heads as viewers, Cheers exists. Mm. It's still a bar that still exists in the fictional world that exists within Tommy Westfall's autistic like, oh, brain. It's okay? close now. It exists for all of us. But I'm telling you, they're going to destroy it. Not only destroy it, but tell us you were wrong the last 10 years. There's been no cheers. And that's oh. going to be devastating. <laughs> I'm telling you. Or Norm is dead. Or Norm is dead. You might find out about that. Um, I can't imagine... I, and, yeah, you gotta have Cliffy Norm there dancing, talking his ear off. Dancing you gotta have him there. To come back. It would be a great opportunity to bring back Sam mm -hmm. Malone, a to deal with the old wow. manu masculinity issues. That's nuts. And the fact that he's a liberal, a hardcore liberal, and Crane uh, uh, Grammar, Kelsey Grammar, is a hardcore conservative. So you have two people on the other sides of the spectrum. They could translate wow, that into something exciting on TV. Well, no, Kelsey Grammer is, wait, is Kelsey Grammer conservative and the character seems more liberal? It doesn't seem conservative at all. You know, you're right. The character does seem very liberal, but I think Kelsey Grammer is a classic kind of liberal conservative type. I don't, I don't know. He might be a Rush Limbaugh mm -hmm. type. 
Hmm. Hmm. And will his room, brother be in it as well? Uh, yeah. Nope. Uh, nope. His brother's son will be in there. It's named David after David Hyde Pierce, the actor who played Niles. Uh, so it's going to be Frazier and Niles' children. So basically, this Frazier reboot will have him being the good father now and moving to support his son in school in Boston. I'm assuming. Um, what's his What's his name? Becky. That guy over there. Becky says he goes back for a funeral. I don't. I don't. I don't. Uh, I don't like any of this. Uh, I do not like any of this. Woody. Woody Harrison come no. back? That'd be hilarious. No, but didn't he become like the congressman or the mayor? Or... Probably. <laughs> he some that's, kind of politics in the end of true. Cheers, at least. Like, like a Dan Quayle. Now, you see, Stevie Lou, uh, that's how you talk about something else while talking about something else. You baboon. You don't just fucking obstructively obstruct a conversation by saying, ah, I like watching Friends, but you know, it really fell off in that last season. Like, that's like base level troll shit. Everything. <clears throat> They're making being basic popular. The people support them, the people around them, just because they like to see uh, you and I. Uh, I've said it before. Burst at the seams. They like to see sane people go insane, and that's what you get. You know, you're you're on the uh, verge of insanity here, folks. But they don't understand that we live on the verge of like They'd being in my mind is walking a razor's end. edge constantly. Bag it. <laughs> <laughs> so. So I mean, it's true, but it's not. You ain't the first person to comment it. It's true, Shit. but I say everything out loud, and that's why I get ridiculed. But I don't give a fuck. We're not talking about this anymore, Tubby. Ugh. Michael <laughs> Rappaport on top of it. Oh, God. Get with the program, idiot. Anyway, you were saying. Um. Well, now that we're talking about this again, uh, so there was something that I noticed when I was in, and. You know, if I wasn't listening to some of these crappy you notice, or low level, they're just bitches who will only go after Becky, uh, yeah. because mm -hmm. they want to stick their. I don't know what they want to do. I think that is they want to have sex with her husband. I really think it's a jealousy sort of thing because don't she does get mentioned. What I'm talking about you were talking about something. No, she she gets mentioned a lot at, by certain people. They know who she is. They see her. Tweets, they retweet them, they they respond to her, all this stuff all the time, and that's sort of like, oh, why are they so in bed with her? Why can't I be like that with these? I mean, then again, I, I don't know. And then they all ride we hang out with them, and we us. that was weird. That yeah. was kind of backing up. Did, like Did you like my comeback? Stevie Lou said, "Yeah, uh, uh, you back FGTZ, so we're even." And I said, did you see it? Did you see it? Did you see it, Lucas? Did you see it? I did, it? but I can't remember. I said, and your parents backed the faggot. <laughs> we hung, we hung. Good one. It was a good one. It was a good one. Good evening, vegan suck your butt. I wish Damien was here. He would get this. Good evening, vegan sussibus, 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 Fuck, I forgot how Walt Flanagan says it. I fucked up. Anyway. Suck you, Ubis. Yeah. V yeah, so listening to cer certain people try to inappropriate. entertain, try to present themselves as, uh, as performers, um, one thing that they lack and that, that, that I've now noticed, and I wouldn't have noticed this without tuning into some of these programs and seeing some of these people. Um, it's sort of like, it, it's a, it's, it's a, it's a way that they speak where it's Such a monotone a flatness. It's a tone yeah. deafness. Have you ever had a friend that's completely <laughs> tone deaf? <laughs> I know what you're doing. <laughs> I know what you're doing, Glenn. I know what you're doing. <laughs> Yeah, someone who's completely tone deaf, like, hmm? you know, when you, 
some of them like to uh, when they when they're talking to say someone they're interviewing. I'm and sorry, they ask but that a question. was very exciting. You did that masterfully. What you just did there, and what I'm totally interrupting now intentionally, was masterful. It was wonderful. Go on, please continue. You're welcome. Fucking riding that segue in. So, well, that's what you just got to wait for the segues, guys. Because, you know, it's like you want to shove a bunch of shit in there. Mm -hmm. You got to have rhythm. You got to know where the tides are turning and where to bounce back and bounce forth instead of going off screen. I mean, oops, I lost myself. So it's a tone deafness. It's a lack of rhythm. It's a lack of. Why do you think that is? Why do you think a person like Derek is so. I, I never said a word. I, I never said a name. I mean, I, said, I didn't. I didn't. I'm oh, okay. Oh, you little, mean the guy who like asks people questions and it comes out like, "So I heard that you were doing this." And then, what do you think about that? No, it's very. What I was saying, I I interrupted you. I thought you were going to no, no, say go something else. I interrupted you. You go. No. You go. I'll remember it. I, I'm because I'm remembering it still. Is it because they're too white? Yes, which leads into what. Uh, somebody said to me, hey, I wonder if uh, Derek's one-sidedness is because he's only, like, he's one of those only about metal people. And the person who said this yes, to me wasn't talking about Derek. The person with the comb on his mustache was not specifically <laughs> talking about yes, Derek. Yes, yes. They were talking about people who just listen to one kind of music. And that's what led to this whole conversation yes. about tone, rhythm, and we'll get to that in a second. But Yes, because certain people have a certain you. pattern that they notice, and then they, they notice it as Sometimes they just notice guys. it Listen to him. Listen as being to him. popular. So they go, well, this is a popular thing and people like it. And I think I like it too. Cause I like these people and I like this scene and I'm just going to, so they get stuck into this one particular pattern. It's cer certain people who say, I mean, I used to be one of those people who say, I completely hate country country, but you know what? I do like yeah. old country. I like dirty country. I like, I, I like honky tonk. Um, so like there is three. Have I ever said that? <laughs> I never heard that before. He put the oh, Pixie, he puts the cunt in country. And there are certain people who will hate other types of music, like mm. jazz. Mm. Jazz is one of those things where you either really like it or you really hate it. Oh, you, you really... I was supposed to say that. I was supposed to say that because you were saying what you said, and then I'm the one who said that. You're stealing my line because it's what it is. It's like because what you said is that they're stuck. They see one pattern, and it's why they're so offended when another pattern comes in. And then I said, holy shit. That's why jazz has historically been so offensive to people because they just – they need it to be this way. They don't hear bum, 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 bum. that. They don't hear the magic that is jazz. Like it's very, it's very Nazi-ish. Just stay in a rhythm, yeah. march to the drum. And and like just the guys that we're talking the... about, they don't even listen to good metal that actually that is closer to jazz. It's like jazz. With... Well, a lot of metal. There, there's a lot of metal that's just like um, you like my metal classical. Impression? There's, cla there's a lot right, of classical very, going on in there. Very much. <laughs> very much. I mean, the number one. Scales and. Black Sabbath. They're not metal. They're blues. And they're like, I, can yeah. you believe they used to be hippies called Earth? Yes. Yes, I can. It's not a big stretch. Music? It's, it's. oh my God, that hurt. Like, I really hurt my testicles when I said, oh, cocky pee pee. Oh, oh, my butt. This, this, this seat I got made. It's, it's only pretending to be comfortable. It's tricking me. It's, it's, it's like, it's like, dude, you're mad comfy. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. It hurts. <laughs> <laughs> well, you play it off well. I mean, geez, I could. No, I don't know. know. It's playing it off. It's tricking me. <laughs> you want to see what happened to me? I don't know where my cushion went. I, I do Can have a cushion. That? What happened to you? What happened? I have a hole in my leg. Oh my God! What are you? G I -E ah! Oh, that's like a Gino you know, pose. What are you doing? Hey! Oh! Oh! Ignore my Jesus, socks, dude. I've been working on a thing. That is that's Wait. terrible. That thing's huge. It's like a giant nipple on your leg. Yeah, it's a huge hole. And look. What the f oh my god. Ariel uh, in the back of the thighs. Nice. Uh, I don't 
I don't need to hear that kind of slapping this late at night. Come on, this now. one actually has a hole in it. That one only has a scrape. Actually, it has two, but this one actually. I want to see. Can you see the hole? Can you see my well, hole? You, this is the gross out segment, boys. Yes, you can see the hole right in the center. See the hole? <laughs> how, how do I? How do I, I? I can't put it in my hole. Put it in my hole. See the hole? Oh my goodness. <laughs> Jesus. Okay, stop, please. This, you're you're going to get us a strike. It's Do it that. Uh, <laughs> Give me off the screen now. I'm on it too long. Well, I don't know how. I don't know if I can. I'm feeling a little scared now. Okay, there we go. Thank you. Yeah, just I'm using my phone. My you have no keyboard. What the hell are we, we got doing here? I'm by my neighbor's dog again. We're so we're so unpro Really? Second time and two days prior. First time I which I, dog? Wait, the new out. the new neighbor? No, old neighbor. Okay, first time get out I of there. Fucking flipped out on the 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 the. Well, I still have all my shit there. Like oh. I have barely anything here because I've I've only finished the livable spaces here. So I, I'm now I can start bringing shit in, but we're in a deep freeze. So this weekend we were supposed to do everything, just didn't know. Uh, the weather was gonna be so bad, but um, yeah. So he, the dog bit me. I flipped out on on the people, the owners, politely, very no politely. Problem. Then, two days prior to this, the dog bit two little girls who were waiting for the school bus outside oh, of my house. That's not good. And uh, the, my woman, she went over there with a fury. Cause she was waiting. She fucking bang, 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 smashed her door. She's like, it happened fucking again. That's it. You fucking this and that. You know, you do what you fucking do. If uh, if we ever see that fucking dog outside of this house without a fucking leash, you're done. Uh, so she gave him. She gave him the what's for. Uh, mm -hmm. And then it happened to me. And the guy comes out. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, man, it was just a second. You know, he just got out. I'm trying to get the baby. And I'm like, kind of hey, lurchy, kind of. You fucking, no, it's not Stevie Lou. Who? Oh, no. My neighbor's not Stevie Lou, you dildo. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, that's it. The fucking cocksucker bit me, and I told him, if I see the thing again coming near me, I'm going to do something. I'm like, that's it. Your warning's over. I'm like, if there's a single incident, I'm going to do something. If I see your dog unleashed, I'm going to do something. I would go and buy him a leash, but fuck him. Uh, he's got all types of vehicles, like big trucks and ATVs and snow machines. And oh, so he's just fucking. Oh, motor just motor let him run into the back of the truck. Dog. Yeah. Oh, I just let my dog roam around. Whatever. Yeah. Another one of these uh, homo crossers blaming uh, the race on a stain. How does it go? <laughs> blaming. Uh, shit stains on the race since 1926. And something like that. Something like that. That was the first <laughs> motocross in England. It's even an English sport, so it's even extra gay. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. So now, uh, they're doing the floor in my studio. Uh, nice. Which, by the way, the floors, uh, the floors have been the glorious. I did just so smooth. And Does that take any sort of talent to like do a floor? I don't know to like actually be able to put a floor in and smooth, you know, and smooth it out. And I don't think not so. really. It's not. <laughs> but so. some people can't are not mechanically inclined enough to do anything like that. To make it so sexy. I think I, it's got to <laughs> because it's so. so, it's so what a material it's I had to work with. Sexy. Look, what I did was I turned the original hardwood floors that were... I mean, this is a fucking building that um, has been here since the 1800s. Like, you got to see the basement. It's fucking amazing. Uh, and if you look Mine behind is like the that. walls, like in the one closet where it's going to be a vocal booth for my son, this is not... A, this Originally, this was going to be my office. But now uh, I decided I'm going to do the other room for my studio. A booth. And this is going to be his music thing. So there's a basically. That's awesome. This is, this is uh, 
well, it's a boot. It's about the size of the booth in compound. And then there's a cl big closet. And in that closet, it has an unfinished walls where you can see the original wooden shit. So, I mean, it's really old. So the carpet was ripped up. Um, so the last people had dogs and they like, tore up the walls and shit like the wood. Um old wood so i what i did was i fixed that wood with like putty and shit that they did but like on the on the walls when they tore it up the molding but the floors themselves what i did was i wanted a flat smooth like hard like almost like a tie like a linoleum floor but i turned the wood into that so i turned the wood into a completely smooth like i removed all the cracks of the wood and shit and just turned it into like it's still you can kind of see it's the wood it's a like a really uh dark smoky gray color i went with but so you can kind of see it's nice. wood like i left it in a way but it's also just smooth like it's just smooth like glass it's very rewarding fucking awesome. woman we were smoking while i was doing it and she couldn't even like perform tasks like because she was supposed to be like doing some other stuff behind me while i was doing the work and, and this is her the whole time like this. This is just the sound. <laughs> Riveting, huh? It's it. Nice this ASMR. Is Thank you. This is the internet today. So anyway, it's like jazz, though. You've got to be able to come in. You've got to be. <laughs> that did sound like a. Pop. <laughs> I'd love to play in like a jazz trio. Mm, that would be you. awesome. Like someone playing piano and then a drummer and then me just going. Yeah, oh, hell yeah, dude. Piano, bass, and drums are my three favorite instruments. And uh, that's what uh, I, I want to be an old man in a smoke filled jazz bar that doesn't exist anymore. Because I would do that for hours. Oh my God. And you just sit there and go. Oh, just get someone with a trumpet. Trumpet, drums, and a bass could do it. No, that, was, that was not jazz. That was. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah, yeah. It was, but I went a little in the wrong direction. I'm sure. Oh, thanks. That's the thing. Boris. Thanks. You, you, that's so nice. Thank you. What happened? Glad the creeps oh. are back. Hey, who's Forrest? Hi, Forrest. Nice to meet you. I don't know. My weed guy, a new one, has, yeah. well, uh, it's not, it's just somebody, uh, a website. A website, phone number, interesting delivery service, for like ID. You have to like give your ID and shit. Uh, for what? That's why I like, say what's... it's not like my guy. First person, first delivery. You gotta give your ID. Oh, I see. Make what you're sure saying. you're over twenty one. You get a free eighth with the first delivery. Um, and then it's uh, the future. Uh, mm -hmm. But I'm like. Is this legal? I don't know. In the year I mean, it 2023. Is. Weed's legal? I don't know if... And I know there's weed dispensaries. I don't know if he's legal. But what... I can go to a dispensary and purchase. I don't know the dispensary is legal when I go there, right? And most of them apparently aren't because it's a gray area with federal laws. So... Is this guy brilliant <laughs> or fucking stupid? They can dude, always get raided. All the products. Dude, he's got like mad fucking weed just pictures. In the well, that's what he Tulsa King is, him. right? Yeah. You know, he's like, hey, at any point, federal agents could jump in here. So I'm going to protect you. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, no, look, I'm out here in hillbilly country. These people. Yeah. <laughs> they got their own shotgun collections. Yeah. yeah. They, they got protection. So which which is what I don't buy about Tulsa King because good good thing you brought that up. Even a fucking nerd like um, Martin Martin Cross, what's his name on the program? And did I get his real life name correct? I'm not sure, but he was great on uh, on uh, on uh, that show there. Um, Freaks and Geeks. 
freaks. No, the one, uh, the one that was on HBO recently about oh, all the coders. Uh, Silicon Valley, yeah, he was Silicon Valley, yeah. Uh, Gilfoil. Gilfoil, yes. Uh, Martin Star. Great show. Oh, what did I say his name was? Anyway, I have no who, idea. Who cares? Um, he would have a fucking shotgun to Stallone's head the second he fucking opened his mouth. Especially Probably. with that crypto shit going on. Let me tell you something. A hillbilly with tech savvy? You don't want to fuck with that one. Because they're, this is they're a the transplant. ones who realize, oh, we live where like you can bury things. Wow. Yeah. We live where things can disappear. Yeah. Most Dive. people out here don't really think about that. Like Maybe it's for comfort. 15 know. miles in any direction and then off the road a mile and all of a sudden you're you can just people can just disappear forever bye so stevie lou got upset with becky <laughs> we're we're keep we're gonna we're gonna eventually have finished we're, <laughs> stevie lou got upset with becky over Come some on. shit and then there was all this. He he's also been going after uh, the Joe Exotic character for a while. Yeah, and uh, for some reason, because of the ski mask connection, no, I guess I don't know. But I but, but well, I think that, I think he did say Joe Exotic did something very bad to him. I think what Stevie Lou told me in person was that Joe Exotic, and I think do not quote me, Joe Exotic doxed him and tried to get. Not, somebody in his family fired or sent some, or, or did something or whatever. Like really at that and level? Jeez. Now I happen to know um, there is a thumbnail, a thumb file, thumb drive, whatever you call them. There's a file and there's like a nuclear button, um, which is a word that triggered Stevie Lou today. Nuclear. I don't know why I just used it in the normal sense. And Apparently, there is a nuclear option that boop, could put a whole bunch of stuff out on blast. I'm not aware of all this stuff. I'm just told that it, it exists. Uh, For Joe Exotic? No, I'm not saying that. I'm saying in the anti-Stevie Lou, anti-Ski Mask crowd, there is a drive, a thumb drive that exists that they are afraid is going to get out. This is what I was informed of. Um, okay. So it's not that anybody is doing these things. It's that they are afraid these enemies of theirs have these things. So it's just, it's just base level paranoia. Yeah, it's just, it's gay. <laughs> it's like, uh, it, it's like LARPing. It's like it's the like... cum stain on your mustache. <laughs> It's, it's like, so twenty. It's so twenty sixteen. <laughs> Ooh, we're the net, or we're, we're the hacker crew, and uh, we're uh... okay. See, this is what happens when accessibility becomes so high for things, and everyone can just now jump into all yeah, these. Everyone uh, has a microphone. Uh, everyone has a microphone. Everyone has a camera. Everyone has access to. Jump in chats and talk some shit and, you know, cross lines and be delusional and be uh, really bully-esque. Um, oh, bully. 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 You know, one song, if you're cover, if you're going to be a cover band and you play Wooly Bully, people no. just love it. They fucking love it. It's like a weird thing because it's been in so many movies, so many sports movies, and, but just in it. general. I don't. Wooly bully, bully. Had it told Molly by the thing she saw. Had to be home. Are you still happy for us? Are you still happy the creeps are back? <laughs> uh, Wooly John retired apparently, allegedly, according to Forrest. From the Sad Chad program. Do you know anything about this? I don't watch that program. It does great views. Yeah, I guess. People love watching people uh, shit hate. on people. <laughs> people love hate. And uh, it can, yeah, it can create an interesting wave, I guess. Um, yeah, I, 
Stance will probably retired because he I, I'm because he knows I'm saying it here. He he knows the town is burning. I think they're they're trying to gun for getting on compound. These guys, I think they're gonna, they're gunning for it. They're trying to, you know. Stancil, uh, he's got his uh, affairs in order. I guess. Apparently, he's doing what a man do. Yeah, I mean. He's had a lot of opportunities to go up there and have fun. So, you know, if they allow him to keep doing it and doing it more, becomes more part of the sports show possibly. Because uh, what are they going to do when football is gone? They're really going to talk hockey and baseball. And no, everyone's going to go broke get betting on shit. I would think eventually, but you know. <laughs> I just you just reminded me of that. Don't. Don't even talk. Just don't mention compound anymore, because it's just like <laughs> such a fucking. It's a stopper. It's a showstopper. Like it's a showstopper. It's, well, it's see you later, hole. folks. It's an, it's an entertainment hole. In hot water, there's nothing funny on the show. It's interesting Bird to see the told Bailey told me to. Uh, he's talking about me. Go check it out. I don't have it anymore. I had to go fucking hunt down the secret account. And uh, I had to go on the secret account. And uh, yeah, some fucking, uh, let's see, we got an Uncle Frico clip. Oh, you're looking to, huh? Nothing that's ugly. Oh, that you did want to talk to somebody else about somebody else, though. I, so I went on there and it was horrible. Nothing fucking funny. I tried to look at it objectively. I've tried. I've tried. Is it just me? I'm just fucking pissed and annoyed i'm i'm method acting all the way with this one i'm full retard in the no, situation no 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 it's no. because before you were you were stuck in the cloud of it and it was just all you know yeah yeah it, because again it be these shows at no. some point become like a background asmr for your life mm -hmm. and if it's kind of a repetitive thing it, you get in that rhythm of this is what it is and this is what I yeah I like this I go like back this. and I to like watch this. the shows I found it very hard to compliment them even when I was a fan uh, watch it it's very very spoken I speak from the side of my mouth very often excuse me boy excuse me still a said I'm never doing that show again um, oh come on! Never it's doing a fun show to again. Do. I'm never it's doing it. They tricked show. me. They tricked me into thinking it was the wrong day. <laughs> Fuck them! You like it because you drink out of a come fucking on. jar, you hippie. Come on, hippie. cousin Daryl. No, never again. What do you drink two drinks for every time? He's doing it again. <laughs> and it's not alcohol. Oh, this one is. See, that's the alcohol. That was the water. <laughs> this is the so coffee. Dirty, it's empty. Uh, what were we talking about? Before you, you tricked me. Now with your two drinks to make me see everyone's Boy. tricking me, and I'm tired. Boyd and friends. Trick. I had fun on Boyd and friends today. No, I jumped not doing Boyd and friends again. But anyway, I've been speaking out of the side of my mouth with compound. Yeah, friends, compound. I was never. I was never a real fan. Hmm. Uh, I was there for Brian Johnson of Tell Him Steve Dave. And you I saw something going on. Like it was kind of East Side yeah. Dave. I said, "Ooh, this is great." I then saw In Hot Water, and I said, "Yikes, this is like a white power meeting, and they're speaking retard." I know if I watch this show, I'm going to understand retard, and it's going to turn me retard. I never want to understand what these people are saying. Fast forward a little bit. Eastside Dave is in the is no longer in studio. I uh, I uh, decided to get it again. Give Would You Kindly another try because I gave up on it. Right, so I quit. Now I get it again. I'm watching Eastside Dave. Oh, this show sucks now. It's a totally different show. I try out in hot water, and I'm like, oh, this guy's ranting about COVID. Okay. All right. Uh, he's saying the things that, that nobody's saying, that I'm saying in my brain, that I'm saying on my shows. Uh, but at least he's on a bigger stage. 
oh, this show is kind of just like the nothing show with one guy ranting about political issues he probably shouldn't be ranting about. Although I, I definitely should be more than Gino. Let me tell you that because uh, I, I lived it, buddy. And uh, um, a fucking... I had a lit cigarette on the ground the whole time in an ashtray. And a fucking bald jerk off interrupting him the whole time. Lou. I'd right. love a fucking cigarette. It was the same fucking program. All right. So I, I saw something I related to. And I said, okay, I'm supporting Brian Johnson. I'm telling Steve, Dave, I want him to be able to keep having this job, even if I don't like the show. Uh, I'm enjoying, I also was enjoying Kumi at that time because he was saying things. And I was like, all right, this is something. So I got into a little bit of a groove, but there was so much I didn't like. The gay porn, the shit porn, the the fucking blowing heads off, the fucking fruity edginess. Suddenly, I feel like it's I'm 12 years old looking at people in an AOL chat room sharing shock shit. It was just ridiculous. It's like been there, done that, and it just got worse and worse and worse and worse. But I stayed within that order because I knew, and you can read Frank Pellegrino's Discord. Frank Pellegrino, that clown. <laughs> Yeah, remember that bit, guys? You remember that bit? Not a bit, huh? Uh, what is a bit? But uh, if you could read it in there from day one, I said Ehrenberg hates Gino. This is the end of a show. I'm watching because I'm watching the decline of this show. And I kept talking about it, talking about it. Everyone tells me I'm crazy in there. I was right. Um, point is, was I ever a fan? I was just somebody who, I, who saw an opening and I took it. I took the opening that I saw. <coughs> what, what different am I than any other creator or promoter or presenter or performer? You see an opening and you go for it. Simple as that. If this guy on the, on the television is talking like me and doing what I'm doing, that means he has an audience and he's getting paid by Anthony Cumia to do this. And he has an audience that likes him doing that. So maybe they'll like me doing that because that's what I'm already doing. You see how that works? It's called targeting an audience. See, the thing is, a is fan of them or a fan of their audience is the question. I, 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 I question it too, because I, you know, I, I started becoming a fan. And I was like, this is kind of fun. It's crazy and whatever. And they are doing racist shit, but whatever. I don't, I don't care. And, you know, and then, but, Again, it's like I I did love it for like six months. I did uh, <clears throat> just like with me listening to Open Anthony. Eventually, I wanted to get involved. So, you know, is is that just my nature? I don't know. Maybe that's what it is. I find something that I like that I think I might be able to get into and be a part of, and I just strike. Uh, you know, maybe I'm only. I forgot why I stopped smoking. Oh no, that was at the beginning of the show. Sorry, it's killing me. Go on. I'm getting bullets. Oh, what? Dabs? No. no Stop smoking what? I'm getting bullets in my throat. Oh, it's too clean? Uh, why I keep... No, <laughs> it's too fucking dirty. It's filthy. Oh, it's too dirty. Oh. Well, oh, sometimes oh. when it, when your bowl is too clean, you know, it's like ash will just like slide right down through it and like you depending need to on interrupt the my interruption structure. You're and, letting and, me take and things you down like that. Paths. Yeah, well, that's I go down every path. I just I like every rabbit hole. I fill them all. I can fill all the holes up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah that's a come. Holes. Uh, so good. Yeah, keep saying that long story you're you're gonna say. So I don't know if it's just my nature to I can totally hear you. Be a nosy oh, fuck oh, and just God, think that I can oh God, I can do what everyone God. else is doing because oh uh, I'm just so good and so smart oh, and able to you know such a quick study God. to be able to infiltrate into things and actually match or even surpass those who would be the perceived teachers, but actually the ones who are stepping stones to greater things because. No, there's sort of a cul-de-sac happening between some of these uh, these universes, these podcast universes. They're, they're their own uh, one ways, and people are just stuck in here, and there's no one else entering. There's no no one else knows how to get here. It's kind of like I, you know, I'm hearing something, and and, and so 
perhaps some people are actually talented enough to perhaps make something that could actually, no, not just stay inside of this little cul-de-sac, but be a part of a bigger, larger cul-de-sac that encompasses more things. It's very possible. So why the whole time. stay in this little tiny area all the time with these same people that really isn't, there's no movement. It's ty- time to go to another Universe. Was he talking like this the whole time, you guys? I'm sorry. Was he the, the little boy? It was kind of creepy. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. <laughs> it is Vigo! My precious. Uh, we can't show your comments, V. We could show this one, Big Cock Bully. <laughs> Let's show that one. I'm looking at them. I'm like, what? I think I think we're getting in. Um, I think we're in trouble for his comment in the chat. Must tard. It, can you get in trouble for chats? I don't know. There was something going on about that. So, I, so see, I don't even care about this drama shit though. It's like really, oh, it's just so draining. It's like I got other shit to talk about, man. It's fucking philosophical shit. Just, uh, but anyway, like uh, tips. Uh, speaking of tips, here's a tip on making a tip. The lovely boy Bobby, the donkey of comedy, Tim Burrow. Uh, isn't it ironic that his last name has Burrow in it, but he's also the donkey of comedy? That's crazy. But anyway, um, <laughs> he, had a, he, had a, he showed a trick on one of the shows uh, where they did this thing where, with like a piece of something, like a match or whatever, matchbook. And then they like folded it into here and did this whole long, long thing that's taking longer than I, I'm explaining it right now. But I always wondered why. And here's a tip to anyone who's seen that. If you just take any piece of like a piece of your rolling paper lid or cardboard piece of your yeah. pack, well, you want it to be one of those things, I'd assume. Just roll it in a fucking ball and just drop it on the floor. That's it. It's as simple as that. Stick it on the end. Dig it, it in. Acts as a plug on that side, so nothing falls out. Now so. I'm just saying it looked very fancy what he did, but it just seemed so time consuming. Um, now that I dropped it, it did. It, it, if I had, you know, it consumed a little more time, but don't drop it. Don't drop it. Oh my god. It just rolled off. Oh my god! I'm getting, getting, getting this, this. This is not a bit. I swear to God. I swear it's to those god. lights. It's all the lights. They're fucking with you. Mm-hmm. So V has a tip for all the ladies. That's V in the chat. Everybody. Mm. Uh, I I wonder. Oh, okay. I thought you might have put up a new one. No, I wonder no, what no, it no. is. Do tell us, and we will wait with uh, bated breath. Is that yes, funny? his. Baited, yes. Just um, like Defango baited everyone, or Eliza baited everyone into talking about her and then destroying them all. It was so weird. Man. I'm going to have, I, I don't think I'm going to be able March. to. March. I got to find it. You mentioned Defango again. Now I got to look for this fucking video. I just don't know how to specifically find it. It's so difficult. Oh. No, it's under this. Never mind. Defango. Defango. Aha! I found it. Do you want to know Defango. about Defango? Which can give us a brief respite, even. Do you, you like want to know, know the truth about Defango? It's a serious, serious question, Fango. Lucas. Do you want to know the truth? Don't ask. Don't, don't say yes. Don't want to. He's just going to keep yes, saying. Yes, I do. Do. Yes, I do. Are you sure you want to know? Do you want to know? I'm not sure you want to know. Defango. I'm not sure you want to know. By the way, that's Is how it easy true? it was for me to find this video. But I realized it wasn't as tasking because it's a public video. I thought it was a private one. But I did it with just a oh, mouse. No. I'm a, I'm fancy. Watch do out. you want this? Do you want this? Do you you don't? I don't think you do. But if you say you do, you're gonna get it. Do I want this? Do I want this? Wait. Yes, I do. Oh, you fucked up. Oh. Dicen que después de la tormenta viene la calma. 
pero para Ignacio, un niño de 8 años que siempre ha sido diferente a los demás, esa calma no va a llegar nunca. Y para todos los que lo acompañamos en este planeta, tampoco. Porque Ignacio siente cosas que nosotros no sentimos. Sabe cosas que nosotros no sabemos. Y ve cosas que nosotros no vemos. Y con ese poder, Ignacio acaba de cambiarlo todo, aunque nadie más lo recuerde ni pueda notarlo. En lo que para él era tan solo un juego de niños, acaba de cambiarlo todo para siempre. Y ahora, hay más de 3.500 millones de personas que nunca volverán a ser los mismos. O más bien, que siempre serán los mismos. Él sabe que siempre quedan huellas. Él sabe que siempre hay algunos que recuerdan sus hazañas. Pero esta última ha sido demasiado grande. Nope, it is not real life, Jeffrey, and that's the point. Well, V, maybe you should just learn to speak Spanish, you cunt. Real life is so dull. Shh, the important part's coming up. Someone must find the truth in this story. Solo era una ficha más en el juego de alguien más. Todos eran una ficha más. Ignacio es el personaje importante en esta historia. Ignacio es el personaje importante en todas las historias. Gente inocente va a meterse en graves problemas con su visita a esta ciudad. Nadie puede frenarlo, pues nadie sabe de su despiadado control. Es... Simplemente, uno de esos peligros desconocidos que existen en el planeta Tierra sin explicación alguna. Hay muchos, muchos más. O, al menos, eso es lo que parece. So, wow. My mind is blown. Do you understand now? I understand everything. Can you tell me? Because I don't speak Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> I don't speak it very well. <laughs> I barely you, enough to figure it out? Did you get enough to understand? Uh, not really. Anybody, the point is, anybody out there who does speak Spanish... That's the answer. That's exactly what happened. I should Or call my aunt. What's up with the fango? There's a reason I I, I chose. Uh, he's uh he's he's a Mexican. His a snuggle? Is, no, uh, I I just I actually just bought this at Target. So hmm. just, just just Merlin a... is is fake Mexican like you. Like you know he's a he's a Chavez. I also have Chavez in my family. 
But um, this is not a doxing. This is a public knowledge. He's even named his channel um, the Manuel Chavez channel at one point. Uh, he, you know, this is a public thing. Defango, Merlin Defango. These are characters. Are you wearing a fucking snuggie? And you know what? That just reminds me. I was supposed to be wearing one too. I fucking left it here like a dum dum. <laughs> Oh, is it cold there? It is very cold oh, here right now. Tits, it, you dick. it dropped a lot, and it, it's windy out. Oh, my. that that whipping bone chilling wind. Oh, are you in a That's deep why it's still? a little. Yeah, it ju- I mean, it's not deep because it just started. But that's what she said. I don't think it's. I don't think it's uh, gonna stay too long, but. It hasn't been this cold all winter. Face. How was this? I don't even know how this was doing. I just knocked everything down, didn't I? Sure did. But just a couple of days ago, it was 50, so, you know, or whatever. And, uh, yeah. That's when it's nice to wear leather, because leather stops that wind. Hmm? I only wear leather. I only wear leather pants, underpants. Just a just a leather. I don't have leather pants, but I really want a few. Leather boy, fancy fancy leather boy. I'd love that. Cool, you know, being on stage and shit, like yeah, rock and roll. Uh, I kind of want to start going for that desert motif, you know, that kind of like yeah, like desert rocker. Be nice. I need I need a stylist. What kind of style are you looking for, bro? Jim looks like <laughs> looks like Clark Griswold when he was trapped in the attic. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's oh, a I'm good tra- one, Becky. For I'm a trying woman. to, that was I'm trying to fun think fun of the song. He's, he's watching the, the old videos. Will you sing it for us? I don't remember what it was. I can't. Yeah. I only watched that a couple of times this year. Just a couple of times. Have you ever this, watched this Hard past? Field? The European? No. Part what? Christmas Vacation Part Two. No. Is it Eddie? Uncle Eddie's Island Vacation, I think. Or I've I'm- seen it. I've seen you know the the thumbnail and i think i even read it but i don't know if it was like available at the time or whatever it has ed asner i believe wonderful huh. role. he plays uh a wonderful role it has um, um original audrey or european vacation audrey i don't recall european vacation audrey i believe died so it must have been original or were they both the same I don't know. Maybe she died after that movie. I know it's one of the proper Audrey's returned. Um, it's it's lovely. There's nothing wrong with it. And there's even a semi sort of spinoff that was supposed to um, be more connected, but ended up being its own thing with uh, uh, Brian Cranston, who's a cunt, by the way. Let's talk about him in a second. He's a great know. actor. Good actor. Well, he was great in this. He played a cousin Eddie type character. It's it's like a Thanksgiving vacation or something. It's a National Lampoon. Mm-hmm. It was done after that. It was one of their. It was their next TV movie. Well, anyway, um, I actually it is kind of chilly, and now I really all I could think about is fucking Clark Griswold's. But uh, it, it was a spin. Yeah, that like the woman's movie. hat on and like the 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 gloves, the satin gloves. Uh, so, what would, did you say? Satin gloves. No, 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 no. Before that, we were gonna. Brian Cranston is a cunt. Yes. First that's off, what you said. I didn't say that. No, I, I had enough of him. I'm done with him. I don't care for him anymore. I quit Brian Cranston. Now, first, he, I'll quit you. He, he just looks like one. And when I heard he was on Bill Maher, I said, ooh, that'd be nice because, you know, he's a typical uh, liberal, 
you know, far left liberal cunt as far as his politics go. So I would like to hear that. Bill Maher, I don't care what everybody says. Start with him in this conversation. What do you think of, I say this, take a hit. Tell me what you think of Bill Maher in a moment. I'll tell you what I think. I think I don't care what all these right wingers say and these left wingers say. If he's changing, he's changing for the better. And it went from, here's my history with Bill Maher. Wow, wow, wow. This guy's amazing. Wow, wow. Now we're talking politically incorrect. Era. Back in the day. Back you're talking day. 20 years ago. Fucking round table with him, Marilyn Manson, and like heads of state and shit. Yeah. Uh, like, wow, I this guy Same. knows. This guy gets Wow, it, wow, wow, right? wow. Then Came out with his uh, his religious thing, religiosity. Or well, 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 religious. That came out during religious. the next phase where uh, oh. it came out during his cunt phase. I already hated him by then. And oh, I man. actually thought his religious. I never was always pompous, paid like, attention that much, though. I wasn't very political well, back after then. After 9-11, he turned into a bit of a tyrant, a company man. He started speaking... The com- he started. He's a company man. He started speaking fucking group speak, and I hated him. <clears throat> Every clip I would see, I'd be like, "Oh, this guy's a monster!" Oh my god, listen to him. Now, every clip I see is the exact opposite, but even more so. I, I believe, rather, I feel he is genuinely coming back to sense. He went in a direction. He is now going in another direction and i don't necessarily believe it's one of these i'm gonna go make money on the right no way you're gonna tell me bill maher couldn't have stood where he was on the left if the left is what it is right yeah if if biden biden won that election man that historic we're not allowed to talk about that on youtube Mm -hmm. if biden won that fucking election then why would bill maher not have a a ton of money to be made where he was standing. There was no reason. Yeah. So I, I'm buying it. I'm buying I do enjoy it. him Bill more Martin now. Made. Yes, because he, yeah. It, and there's gotta be some people on that side who end up seeing logic and seeing Russell Brand. Who's right. Who's right. Who's wrong. Yeah. Russell Brand had a big turnaround, I think. And in, in some you ways, tell I me he need big turnaround. You're telling me he needs, he was playing arenas. Like, like he's like, um, dice in his prime, but international. As far as comedy goes, the dude was banking. Suddenly it makes sense to go to the right. Well, then what does that tell you? That tells you the market is leaning, right? Which tells you what? The or, or it tells you that he was always that way anyway. And then at Tim a certain Robin, point, Tim Robin, it does it. Beautiful, beautiful moment on Russell Brand's show. And most on the right, fuck you anyway. You fucking did this. You did that. You're, you're not seeing what's happening. You know, the transformation. Th- that's a man admitting what they've seen. They're just telling the truth. And even if it goes against, it's like, I'm Tim Robbins. I'm the fucking liberal. I'm Bill Maher. I'm the king of the liberals. I'm Russell Brand. I'm the king of the fucking liberals. But I'm seeing this truth and I have to speak it. Those are real men. Like, I know these people now (laughs) and I know who the fucking, who the shitty people are and who the grifter, who the real grifters are and who's, who's telling the truth and who's not telling the truth. I just went dyslexic. My brain wasn't telling the truth. I read Tim Ron Ronibs 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 two ends. Tim yeah. Tim Ronibs. Mm. You were saying <laughs> carry on. Your thoughts, man. On Bill, I just Bill Maher. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bill Maher. Same here. I used to love him, but I also used to feel a little more liberal. And I'll admit that after 9-11, I got a little more conservative. But I'm also a military kid, so... I got more you know, liberal I, after 9-11. More militantly <clears throat> liberal. Well, no, I became more militantly conservative, I think. And, uh... But... I, actually, I'm glad I didn't go to the Naval Academy because I would have been in during that. And then I would have gone off. I probably would have been very gung-ho at that point. 
that would have been my junior year. So at that point, I would have been all, let's go kill. Let's go get. You were, you were turning the glass. You were, you were that guy, huh? I'm sure I would have been at that point because in being a civilian, I was kind of like, man, I kind of almost wanted to join the military now. No, nope. but I, I didn't. No, nope. <laughs> I was hating soldiers then. And for, for the same reason that I hate everyone, I hate the people who aren't buying good things and supporting good things and allowing garbage to be like all of us, you, you're from my, we're from the same generation. We, yeah. we pirated, we Napstered and Kazad and we fucking lime wired. Well, and we also into oblivion. We, before, we did it so that it was from Brittany to Miley. We did that. Even before By allowing that, year olds to spend their parents' money. Sorry, go on. We were going into the malls and taking fucking CDs and shit and ripping off the 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 magnetic strip so you can fucking take that shit home because they never used to put the magnetic strip inside of the case. It would be just stuck on, stuck on the outside. You could t- cough. <laughs> if I could rip that shit off. I can take that plastic thing off later. If I can just stick that shit in your pants and walk out. Like, whatever, dude. But. Yeah, we were the ones that fucking broke the system. Even I was like that. I mean, like I said, I felt a little more liberal. But then when I got more conservative, I did try to not steal as much. So I guess that's a good thing, right? Sure. So. As much. Go back to where we were going, though. <clears throat> what the fuck were we just talking about? But Why? Well, Bill Maher and all that and 9-11 and how they're changing over to a different mindset. See, and I sort of stay, but see, I've always been an artist too. So I I have always supported free speech, freedom of expression, freedom of your sexuality, freedom of all that kind of shit that you want to choose for yourself. I don't care, but you don't have to shove it in my face all the time. You don't have to tell me that I have to like it. That's what I don't like. Even like art and shit, it's all subjective. Don't tell me that I'm supposed to enjoy this and I can't criticize it because I would never say anything if I never criticized anything. So none of us would. That's oh that's God, most of penis, communication. No, my penis is asleep. I just realized. Oh, I just felt it start tingling because it's asleep. Like, yeah, it was asleep. What is retracting? No, it's fucking. <laughs> it's, it's, Tingling when it, you know when your arm falls asleep. It's the way I'm sitting. I'm, I'm telling you, when I stood up before, it felt like my whole anus was falling out. I never shoplifted you hooligans. Well, you know, it's, sometimes you just want some shit. You know, you're you. And it's also a good exercise in acting, like <sighs> acting, like not acting suspicious oh, yes. and then taking mm-hmm. stuff. You know, and then I mean, ha- most of the time I'd actually buy something. Why don't you just steal something and go through the line anyway? You know what I mean? Like then they never suspect you. No. Well, yeah, you buy a pack of gum and you steal. You I know. missed your question earlier. Okay, let me look. Let me look. Uh, leave your water running cold. Me? Which water? Yeah, I left some. of Yeah. What the hell does that mean? This one over here. Is dripping. Oh, well, so oh. pipes don't you freeze. Behind I know. My fucking stuff's that way, too. I have it all cracked. Yeah, I have a faucet. Crack both of them, people. Oh, okay. Well, I've got three different faucets, but... Um, yeah, I got this one. There's a... You know, like a... Uh, a basin behind me with a little... Jesus uh, Christ, how much space is behind you? It looks like you're like fleshed up against the wall, but uh, that's well, I can reach there. Yeah, that's actually I can reach hard. my hand, you know, that's the the wood, and then the wall there is further back by this like is so you know, riveting. Foot well, and a half. We're, we're, we're doing <laughs> great. We're doing awesome. I'm in a corner too. You can't put Lukey in a corner. So it was a great return, right? Everybody was happy. Is everyone happy? Uh, the night creeps. I think it was good. I mean, a lot of stuff happened, but again, Brandon it's like Cranston's. Brian Cranston. What happened Brandon to him? Cranston. So how much of a how much of a dick was he? 
So yeah, because we can't we can't we can't linger on that. So that's how that from Bill Maher. So he, so he's on Bill Maher, and I said, you know, this is going to be great because Cranston's a liberal douche politically, a nice personality, seems smart. So him versus Bill Maher. Either I'm going to see the true side of Bill Maher, and he really is because I've only seen clips. I've not seen anything full. And he really is just, you know, doing some bait and switch tactics, playing tricks. And he's a cunt, too. Uh, or or Cranston's going to and him are going to have a great debate. I'm really okay. excited. So they get to talking about critical race theory. And man, oh, oh, man. I don't even know. Do you, I mean, do you like I mean, obviously, we're winding down. Should I play a clip from it? Uh, it's. It's a 15 too? minute clip. I obviously wouldn't play that. It's just one part in specific. Actually, I could find it really easily. Um, mm. Mm, no, I watched it on Bill my Mars phone. X. So it won't be in my history. And um, you'll you'll have to. Oh, no, I have it right here. Um, Should we get Levy to send Jim his test to Kuzi? I mean, if he had, I don't know, if he hasn't used it, or maybe Jim. Would prefer he did use it. I'm not sure. Um, why does he not want it? Is that what you're saying? He, he's all right. You know what? I'm not gonna it use it in the first like four minutes of this video. The moment I want to show if we want to look at it on the way out, you know, we won't play it this moment. Uh, we can, or unless you want to play it right now and talk about it a little bit as we talk. Sure, actually, that's probably better. It's bad, in my opinion. Maybe I'm crazy, but those are my expectations going in to see it. Uh, I'm. This will make Jeff Hunkel's Hunkel. Oh, so yeah. We were talking about Brian Grayson, though. Yeah, see. No, nope. we, we got back to Becky, it today, Becky. I am not sitting on my nuts. It's just that everything <laughs> is hanging over the cans of paint that I'm sitting on. That actual chair cushion. It's like you know from a rocking chair. Um. And my, my my private parts are hanging over, and oh, private parts. <laughs> also, my pajamas are cutting into my private parts, like this. They're cutting up into the private parts. So now I'm sitting on my balls because now I my turn, Robin. things incorrectly. Now I pushed my balls back while I'm sitting on like the back of my balls, right below the taint. So I like pulled the skin back right there. But then now our things hanging over again. So with Back that and the balls. pajama pants were kind of cutting circulation because I'm like sitting like crouched, like making my pee pee tingle. Mm, so <laughs> many <laughs> things make the pee tingly. Here's this video. Uh, like I said, it goes goes in. So I told you what I expected, and here is what's a got. She. So for sleeping. And I and I don't and I hate Mar slams woke Hollywood again. I don't know he does. All he does is say, you woke jerks. You're gonna hear a lot of buzzwords. You're not gonna hear a lot of conversation. And a little bit of that on Mars side too, but he's really stoned on weed and drunk in these podcasts. Like that's he's like they smoke up usually. Uh and hmm. and that's the thing. It's like hot boxing with Mike Tyson, but with Bill Maher. And uh <clears throat> Um, so not everybody smokes. I don't, I don't know. I don't know if Bert Cranston smoked. I, I didn't catch the video. but anyway, I got um, fucked up enough to talk now. even with just babbly uh trigger words with Mar too doing a little bit of that. At least he makes points. I think you'll hear nah, not at all from what's his dick, Cranston. That people just don't grow up overnight, society no, doesn't, it does more it takes- racism. And but for God's sakes. It's time. It's 400 fucking years that we've dealt with this. Oh. And our country still has not Is she talking about the bar? taken responsibility oh, or accountability for what? For the history of the systemic racism that's in this country. What should we do more? Well, I mean, for, for one thing, uh, critical race theory, once, that he said it once, I think, right? is essential to be teaching. It depends on what you mean by that. Well, I mean, I mean teaching mm-hmm. how the race trade and, and racism is systemic in everything we've done in, in government, in social 
uh, activities. Yes, it has been. I mean, it's, it's, it's embedded in it. It's like, for example. So racism is systemic. And the reasoning is because racism systemically has been racist in everything that we've done. Am I gathering that right, or am I overlooked? Did that just was that? Did that just sound like a dumb blonde <laughs> trying to explain how a rocket? It sounded like doing? Kamala Harris trying to say anything, just repeating the same words and using the that word as an adjective for itself. How systemic is systemically systemic? Um, yeah. I, Nope, sorry. You that, gotta lose as much brain cells as we do. Go ahead. Basically, everything in the world, everything that we've ever built was built that way to be racist. So we have to tear it all down and rebuild it so that it's not racist in its essence. And I don't think it was all intended to be racist. Um, it's more classist. Yes, it, mm-hmm. uh, it, it's, it, it hides yeah, itself yeah. in a racist way but it's more classist where yeah if you've got a lot of money but that's the way the world works if you have a lot of money you have more influence more people want to be uh tied in with you all of a sudden you're Jeffy investing in Walter shit White. and you are you are literally taking part in changes in the world and this is what happens and that's why they're all tied in like that that's mr. just the way it is mr giraffe and i lived through Walter White together. We experienced that epic uh, <laughs> arc, at least the final season. I remember he spoiled the finale. Do you remember this, Mr. Oh, Giraffe? For and you, you didn't watch it? father yelled at him, came out with his ears bleeding that day. Blood was trickling out of his ears, and he's cleaning it out. Oh, for his stepfather? His stepfather yelled at him because he said, I think your exact words, Mr. Giraffe, was the hat. And I said, you motherfucker, you just told me. And then I started saying everything that's going to happen. And that, and then he started trying to backtrack. And then his stepfather was like, shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up right now. <laughs> just stop talking. Stop talking about oh. it. And he's like, all I said was the hat. <laughs> Oh my god. I that was that show. I mean, maybe not the first couple of seasons, but definitely the last two, I would say. I was in a group that would meet up in a pal talk room, all watch it together when it aired, and then just like text back and forth about it. Just like man, that was ah, just thinking about how Don't long ago me. that was doing shit like that. Oh, so sure he sounds uh, yeah but that did not sound brilliant let's just end it with the drink all right we'll get to his drink because i think it's so awkward how the rest of the drink what swear to you it's only a total of three and a half minutes out of the 15 we need to but why the second amendment really really was i mean i I mean this is one person's i don't know i think it's the truth like why is he going the second amendment really has to do with uh in a country where you were keeping a, a hostile people in chains yeah you needed guns uh to you know you needed very it loose reins on guns to protect to against the government that. yeah. that's, that's going against the with people why other countries don't have like a second amendment, a second the, amendment. the way we do and we didn't Failed. have an organized army we didn't have a an organized militia so you had to you had to no form coming one after us and be able to get the arms quickly yeah. when we were being attacked exactly. so but if you but critical race theory can mean it's I mean it's just one of these catch all terms. If you mean we should honestly teach our past, of course they're all over. If the you place mean with each other. more what the uh, 1619 book says, which is that it's just the essence of America and that we are irredeemable, that's just wrong. It's yeah. not. I mean, okay. yeah, right. I I agree with that. But even even teaching our past and being honest and owning up to who we are as a country in the history. Most schools are doing that. I mean, I'm sure there are ones in Texas that are not. In Florida, they're, they're, they, they want to do, do away with critical I race theory in a lot of other states. Because, some, because sometimes it veers off into things that are really not appropriate in schools. So how do you govern you, If you're telling you, five-year-olds uh, that you're either an oppressor or someone who uh, was uh, oppressed, you're, you're introducing ideas about race that are inappropriate for, for kids that age who can't understand okay, it. Okay, so common sense would Common sense that. is what's lacking in yeah, this country. You need, that's why, but that is why 
people wind up passing laws about that. And yes, you're right. Very often the laws yeah. go too far, but it's not coming out. It's not coming from nothing. So. It's coming from things that have started in colleges mm -hmm. and very far left woke thinking that uh, many people this. feel is not appropriate in schools. In, I mean, so. the same thing with, with gender stuff. Yeah, it's going on you know, fast. Can they just be kids seconds. for a minute? Before, right. Okay. Hmm. And, and, and that's absolutely. And we have to find that time, that level of maturity when a, when a child can understand that at certain times in this country's history, there was a grave mistreatment of other human beings. I think we get that. Well, no, we don't get it. What do we get? Really? It? You think that is not something that is now widely understood and agreed? Yeah, it's definitely not widely understood. That America has a, a sorry racist past? It's talked about and whispered, but they don't whispered. know Whispered? It. Yes. It's, you, it, what, what, the Jim Crow law? Whispered, law's? yeah. So, but that's so Emancipation years Proclamation I, I in 1865. It was 1965 or in 1964 when the Civil Rights Act was passed by LBJ. But, but this is 2023. It took a hundred years. I know, but is my point. Can we live in the year we're living in? You don't think we should live in the year you're living okay, in? Okay, well, the year we're living in is not. Drive me to drink. It's not, you it's not what man. you're describing. Drive me to drink. Uh, you're describing an in America, Watch yes, this. that I think most right thinking people Maybe. would agree was deplorable in so many ways. No, no I'm good. You then? <laughs> it's tasty, though. It is good. It's taste very different, and I like it. It's a little so smoky, but not Because it's smoky. mezcal it's and mezcal not... It's mezcal and not tequila. Because it's smoked and not steamed. Yeah. Anyway, it's his. What were we arguing about? Well, yeah, it's probably his. Golden Globes, which you sound like you should be making a... Hello? Oh, okay. the Golden um, Globes. Um, um, terrible. No, I, I... <laughs> That's his brand of tequila. Oh, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, no, okay, so Jeff Hunkles, Mr. Giraffe, says he still loves him. So that made me say, fuck Cranston, but I still love him. I said that. Still Walter White. <laughs> Even after seeing that, then today, while taking a poopy this morning, on my new toilet bowl, I said, I was reading an article, and apparently he's returning as Walter White again on the small screen. Did you know this? No shit. Yep, for the Super Bowl halftime commercial for Popables, some like Dorito popcorn. Oh chip my god, or... that's it. Oh no, really? No, what he said yeah. was, um, ah, you know, when I came back for when I put on the suit, when I when I when I when I became Walter White again for for Better Call Saul, it was just right. You know, it just you had to do it. It was right. Uh, it was necessary. And it was a pleasure to do. And, uh, but now I'm doing this because, you know, it was just really, it was fun. And, you know, it's, it's a fun way to put Walter White in this, in this, play him in this new light, you know, like with a comical, uh, uh, thing. we're not baking meth, we're baking these chips. And it's like, <laughs> it's just virtue signaling. <laughs> it's virtue signaling. It's like uh, all of these people, no, you did it for a paycheck. You did it because they paid you to do a Super Bowl ad. That's a lot of money. And that's all. Why do they have to claim it's just so altruistic? Like he he he's not whatever. Now I'm done with them. After it wasn't it wasn't what you just saw. It was the fucking Oh, because out. that's all that it's you know, it's it's the I'm an artist and I want to explain about my art, you know, and I have that's that's all he's really oh, got, yeah. though. Oh, yeah, unfortunately, yeah, yeah, Mike Creeps is. I don't think, but I don't think. Yeah, but we're not trying to shove it down people's throats. I don't think. Uh, <laughs> we got a bunch of comments from Becky. Here we go. We check, we choke, motherfuckers. No, no, no. Fuck that. Fuck that. God bless America. Amen. Any final words? Almighty dollar, God bless America, bling bling. That was fucking horrible. Becky, <laughs> you know how to do all the fancy stuff. You need to get him in a belly dance. He went bling bling. You, oh, God. No, bling. Or like, a, this crazy. is more like, Indian. Like, like Zoidbergs. Make us crab people. Come on, do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Well, that was a fine enough program. The Almighty Crab. I can't see you back there doing all them crab motions and such. 
Uh-oh, I forgot how to do this. Uh-oh. Ding, 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 ding. That's me. You know, I have a cut below now. At least this is in my studio. I don't have one below my studio. Oh, fuck, it's time to 